Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here with Doom Mission 5 Argent Energy Tower as part of my 100% walkthrough series. In this series, I show you an optimized path to get through the mission while also getting 100% of everything you could possibly get in the game, including rune trials, challenges, all secrets and collectibles, as well as all mission objectives that you'll need in order to actually complete the level itself. I run quite quickly through the through the actual things so you won't catch me wandering around the map like some other walkthroughs so feel free to just buckle in and stay tuned and watch exactly what I do in order to get 100% of the challenges and everything you need. In the first room just kill everybody until the door opens. Once the door opens, go inside and find the data log on the ground. Now because this mission ends quite abruptly and I was actually doing each mission two or three times before filming these videos, I thought that the end of the mission would be caught when we press the exit facility button. However, this mission is structured a little differently, so not all collectibles will show up on my screen. However, I will melee their exact location and you hopefully should be able to pick them up. Pick up the data log, then pick up the double jump boots and come up to this rune trial. Complete the rune trial, it's quite easy, just make sure you take your time through it and kill all 30 enemies using the super shotgun. 2 seconds per enemy extra and then 4 seconds for glory kills with a maximum of 6 seconds on your clock. After the rune trial, we can get a secret plus an Argent Cell, which is used to upgrade our character. Keep in mind, if you've been following along with the Argent Cells and applying them to the same slot, you should get an achievement or trophy for maxing out one of the three slots. Jump up onto here in the highest area you can near these beams in the back of the, this area, and then you can drop down into the secret. This will be a secret area, and at the back of the area will be an Argent Cell. After that Argent Cell, you'll want to actually progress through a little bit of the story in order to find out where the next secret is. Upon this platforming section, you'll reach a couple of imps, which are these dudes. And what we'll need to do is get four glory kills from behind called the neck snap. And that's one of the challenges, so just make sure you grab a total of four of those dudes and glory kill them from behind, snapping their neck to get one of our three challenges. From then on there, just keep climbing in this area, clear out these enemies, or just run past them to the very back of the next room after going across a catwalk. In that next room, just being in that room is a secret on its own. There's also a field drone at the back of the room and a data log on the desk inside the room. Make sure you pick those up and uh, proceed on to the elite guard afterwards.
to grab the elite guard from the data log just go directly towards where we came from except take the earlier door and you'll be able to get on top of these walkways we just skipped a bunch of imp enemies you can go back for them if you want to work towards your challenge earlier sooner than later and before we go up forward to where it's towards that objective make sure you drop down here to find the elite guard on the bottom floor on one of the two sides Upon entering this room, directly on your left, find a data log. Pick up the data log and feel free to use the health regen station if you want some additional health. Directly behind that, on top of the small ramp, you can find your auto map, which I highly recommend you pick up. To convert pure hell energy into clean control of Argent energy, it powers this facility. Upon coming into this next area, I highly recommend you do not kill any enemies until you pick up this quad damage, which is a purple sphere. One of the challenges requires us to get a total of 15 kills using quad damage. There are a total of three quad damage orbs in this map, so I would recommend you get at least five per orb, but it's definitely easier to get around 10 to 12 with this first orb, and then the remaining ones with the second orb, as the third one is a little bit hard to get kills with. Just get as many as you can before it runs out. If you're really struggling and do absolutely terribly, feel free to jump off the side of the ledge and go to your previous checkpoint and then restart um, and try to get more than you normally would have. Again, we have three orbs to get 15 quad damage kills. Feel free to also grab some glory kills on some of these enemies if you haven't already. For example, this enemy type I have not yet gotten a glory kill on, which I did right here. To work towards the rip and the tear achievement slash trophy here's another imp which i'm doing the next snap on towards that previously stated challenge for snapping their necks just keep moving on through the mission upon coming through the maintenance door you'll see these little train cars moving on along the track just jump down follow one through and then you'll be able to jump on a ledge to your left after dropping down. So I drop down here. Feel free to jump directly to your left. I kind of want to show you guys where you might land up here on this ledge instead. And you'll want to jump up to your left. Once inside here, turn around directly behind you. This is a linear path, but you'll have to turn around behind you to find this elite guard, which I already have, which you can't see me pick up their actual uh, suit upgrade. And then directly forward, pick up the data log right here. From that data log, we'll follow along where the train cars go and then jump up on this ledge here. From then on there, we can jump up on this ledge here, um, on top of this non-moving train car, wait for the train car to pass overhead, and then you can make the jump onto this side little ledge. You'll have to double jump and then uh, you know, grab onto it. From there, go onto the top and jump across this gap, and then jump into the area where the top level three train cars are going through. From there, you can drop down to the left onto the collectible. Now from here on out, just follow the objective until you get a little bit further in the mission. Inside this area is where you can find your second quad damage orb, so I recommend that you pick it up and try to focus on some of the smaller enemies first in order to get quick kills. 
I highly recommend a gun like an assault rifle or a plasma rifle, which has a high rate of fire and can melt enemies quite quickly. The orb from entering can be found on the opposite side of the ring and can be found floating on one of the higher tiers. You'll have to jump into it in order to absorb it. And again, kill as many enemies as you can. If you uh, do well enough, you should be able to grab all 15 kills by the second orb. Third orb is still coming up. After killing all of the enemies, you'll be able to press one of these buttons that raises a platform. While on that platform, turn around directly behind you to see a couple of platforms that move along the outer edges of this large circle. Jump on one of those yellow and green boxes in order to be taken up to a higher floor. And then once it parks at the top, make sure you jump off and onto a platform. The accumulator's energy signature indicates that it is nearing the... After climbing the spire for a bit, we should come to a third level where there's three different like red beams that are powering the inside at the top. Jump across to the middle and either on the left or the right, depending on which way we got up to the top, we'll be able to drop underneath the support column to find a collectible. After finding the collectible, try to carefully jump back to the center of this area or else you'll fall down and end up dying and restarting a checkpoint. Continue working your way to the top of this area using the ramps and other jumpable areas as well as the pistons and the rotating uh, half circle on the top there. Once you reach the very top, just kill all of the enemies to unlock the door.
After you kill all the enemies, you'll be able to jump to a large armor piece with a door behind it that should now open. At the very back of this area, you should find an Argent Cell pickup in order to apply an upgrade, either in this corner or in this corner. Then from then on there, interact with the console where your objective is, and you'll be able to ride some train cars up to the top. But one of them takes you to a secret, which is what we're going to want to do. There's a greenly lit train car and a blue train car. What we want to do is go to the blue one at the station that's labeled 4A and then ride it to the top where we can find a lever. Once at the top, make the jump across towards the lever and pull it. As you know, this lever does open up a door that allows us to find a classic Doom room. So this Doom room is found back at the bottom of this area. What you want to do is jump back on the blue car and ride it down all the way to the bottom. Wait for it to park itself inside of its slot and then come out. As it comes out, you should be able to walk behind it directly into the Doom room. From here, you can feel free to ride the blue car all the way back to the top and then use the platforms in order to get the remainder of the way to the top of the tower and finish off the level. Or if you're like me, I end up transitioning to the blue cars, uh, sorry, to the green cars instead of the blue ones because the jumps are a little bit easier once you reach the top. So once at the top of the green train car, you can jump to this ledge and then to this ledge. What you'll want to do from here on out is jump on top of this rotating semicircle using one of these small ledges that ends up parking itself perfectly underneath one of the other ledges. From here on out, get into either the left or right side of this circle, which has two pistons that fire out. What you'll want to do is wait for those pistons and then you can walk across them towards the center of the structure.
after making your way up some stairs and then to the top of this area, you'll notice that there's some train cars directly in front of me that pass by. And what you'll want to do is jump into the center. You'll need to do this anyways as part of the, the mandatory, you know, way to finish the mission. Inside of the center area, you should be able to find a second rune trial. If you interact with it, it'll start. In this rune trial, you'll see it's not too bad, but it's a little bit harder, I would say, than some of the previous ones. You need to kill 10 enemies using explosions, and you only have one piece of health. Basically, the enemies always run towards you in a straight line. The best thing to do is run circles around the map and try to pick them out as early as possible. Try to make sure that you do let a little bit of time pass in between kills so that you're always maxing out your clock as well. After getting 10 kills, the rune trial is done and you should unlock it. Make sure that you're equipping these runes. As this one's your fourth, you should be able to equip one in your second slot. And after you're equipping them, make sure you're actually trying to level them so you can swap out other ones. After that rune trial, here's a little bit of complex uh, jumping, but it's mandatory. Go back to where you came from, but instead of going down, you have to jump up to a higher level. You might need the train car for a little bit of boost. Find this small little ledge behind in the back in the middle, and then you should be able to jump kind of above it directly to find an elite guard. Pick up his chip, obviously. From that elite guard, we'll want to go to the top level and stick to the left, if that makes sense, up the stairs to the top of this area. You cannot stop me from Once we reach the top of the area, you'll notice that there's these red things in the elevator shaft that we would need to shoot out to progress. Instead, jump down directly forward and land into this area. It is very crucial that you're pushing forward as you're falling to make sure you land in. Push the button and then pick up the plasma gun. This is actually a secret area and the plasma gun is not necessary in order for it to trigger. Just pick it up and then you can continue forward. What you'll need to do is go back. This area should look familiar to you and re-climb a section of the tower. Going up the stairs, jumping across the train, uh, the monorail train car area, and then jumping back above yourself to get where you were before, where that elevator shaft was. In order to clear the elevator shaft, just shoot all four of the red areas and it'll drop. Now you can jump across and then you can jump across again, but end up above yourself. Pick up some armor, get into here, open the shutters, and you should be able to proceed to the end of the level. In this area, there's a small cutscene as well as quad damage. Make sure you pick up the quad damage and finish up your 15 kills if you still need them. I don't believe there's there's any imps here, but hopefully you did also get your four imp neck crack glory kills. You should have also already received your challenge for finding three secrets, as we found all available secrets in this mission. Again, that's where the quad damage is. It's directly across from where you enter the circular, circular area. Jump into it in order to unlock it. Because all the enemies are quite large in this area, they can be a little bit more painful to take down than some of the other areas but you should easily be able to grab at least three or four of them uh, if you were struggling in previous areas. Other than that, this is basically a fight that you just keep fighting until a timer runs out. Eventually, after that timer runs out, you are warped to hell. You'll also unlock an achievement or trophy for getting warped to hell, and the mission will end. Again, I apologize for some of the secrets not showing up on screen as I did them. This is because the mission ends abruptly and I didn't actually get a chance to restart the mission before I ended it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to share the video with a friend. Special thanks goes to Heron Giggles as well as DocCupcake84 for supporting the show on Patreon. And hopefully, I see you guys next time. Peace.